Hi everyone, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Grocery Land. We decided to do something a little different from our normal. Um, this week, we went fully plant-based. So we decided that our regular $50 weekly budget, that we would spend that only on items uh, that were fully plant-based, and we would eat plant-based, so vegan, um, for an entire week. We made out okay uh, because this was our first time trying to sustain something like this for a long time. So long time being seven days, that's not that long. But when you're not regularly doing this, um, that does seem like a long time. So because this is not something that we are used to, uh, I didn't have a stockpile of supplies to rely on. We had some items in the house uh, that did comply with a fully pl plant-based um, diet and we did rely on some of those things. Uh, I didn't actually even spend my full $50. Uh, we were able to get some great buys and then we purchased some items that weren't on sale because we wanted to stay fully plant-based. Um, check out what the meals that we were able to make and let me know how you think we made out with our first attempt at this. Right here you are looking at $44.74, and all of the items can be considered plant-based. So I've never done a plant-based buy before, and we are going to try this week. Uh, I shopped at three, four different stores, three different stores. I shopped at Superstore. Um, anyone that's familiar with my shops knows I like to keep an eye out for flash food boxes. So this box was $5. It has two green peppers, two red peppers, an orange pepper, a package of mini peppers, and an iceberg lettuce. Earth's Own Organics Almond Milk, unsweetened, $3.49. The apples were 50% off uh, on four. $5.99, so brought the bag down to five, $3. The oranges were on for $4.99, 50% uh, off, brought them down to $2.50. Uh, the bananas were under $1.50. The kiwis were marked down uh, to $3. $1.99 for the English cucumber. The protein wraps, and so I thought that was a good idea to get the extra 13 grams of protein per wrap. Uh, those were $4.49. Then I shopped at Sobeys. Uh, the tofu was $2.99. And I, I can't even remember the last time I bought tofu. I actually had to look it up to see what might be the best for what I was looking for. We have tons of noodles at home um, but when I checked in the store I just quickly took a look at the back of the packages uh, it they may contain egg so I needed to buy a couple um, just to have that had no um, ingredients in them that wouldn't be appropriate for plant-based so these were 69 cents or 59 cents each and I bought two packs carrots at Sobeys and spinach the carrots were 229 and the spinach was three dollars uh, the cabbage and the turnip. The turnip was 83 cents and the cabbage was about 250. I got some plant-based or dairy-free cheese. That was $5.99. And I shopped at Dollarama and got this quinoa for $1.50. Besides for this big discount of fruit haul and and left to my own devices, I probably wouldn't have bought this much fruit. Uh, the handsome one was with me, and he he seems to think we're going to eat all of this fruit in a week. Uh, that is never going to happen. I'm not a huge fruit eater myself, um, so that's very interesting to me. He was encouraging me to buy all, all kinds of things. Um, our, our cart actually had quite a few things in it that I ended up putting back. So I feel like we don't have a lot of food. But keep in mind, a lot of this stuff was not on sale. Um, the English cucumbers were not on sale. These wraps were not on sale. The tofu wasn't on sale. Um, 
I the carrots were a, a really decent price for right now, but none of the other stuff was on sale. And normally I just shop exclusively the sales, but we just finished a eight week long pantry purge and the quantity of fresh vegetables that I have left available to me is not tons, not a lot of options. So I normally would have waited for a stew pack to be on sale to get the little cabbage and the little turnip and a bunch of other stuff, uh, but they were expensive. They're, they were $6. So the carrots and the cabbage and the turnip uh, separate were actually cheaper. Uh, so we are going to use these ingredients um, and we are going to use ingredients that I already have in the house. Just like anybody um, who's grocery shopping, you already have stuff. You already have things in your pantry. I just typically exclusively only top up the pantry with things that are on sale. So we are going to see. This is an adventure for us. Uh, we, we've we not ever tried to do a plant fully plant-based um, diet for any extended period. So we're going to try this for a week. I had the bananas facing down so you couldn't see the lovely 50% off stickers on them. You've seen what I was able to buy with my budget this week. These are items that I already have in the house that I might possibly incorporate into some of the plant-based meals. We had leftover avocados, mushrooms, zucchini, and um, stringless sugar snap peas from previous weeks. I have had this vegan protein blend and the cocoa acai booster for probably four years maybe five i have coconut milk and chickpeas and pasta uh, that i have checked the ingredients on the back and none of them uh, have anything listed like may contain wheat products or may contain eggs so that works out great i have tomatoes hummus lentils barley split peas and I do have some packaged Epicure products um, that I already had on hand. Easy Peasy Taco and Easy Peasy Bolognese are plant-based substitutes, obviously taco, um, designed to be used as a taco substitute. It's an older item now. You can no longer purchase it. It's been replaced with the Easy Peasy Bolognese. Um, and I haven't, I've had this one. I haven't had this one, but I've heard uh, that people like it better. Uh, they like the consistency of it better. And you can flavor both um, whichever way. Like I could flavor this with taco seasoning instead of with Italian seasoning. And I could use it as like, taco meat perhaps on nachos. Uh, this is a really old item and you can no longer get it. I, I've enjoyed it in the past and I really like it. And I was thinking that this might be something interesting to add with rice to make a, a risotto. I don't know. I don't know. We don't have the meals finalized. We're just kind of in the thinking process. And it's hard when you haven't made anything like this intentionally in the past um, for a long period. So I got some advice from one of our subscribers and she said... Um, keep it simple. Just keep the meal simple. You already make um, stir fry. Make a vegetarian stir fry. You already make fried rice. Make a vegetarian fried rice. Um, you make a lot of soup. Make a vegetable soup. And I thought that was really sound advice. And I'm going to take that to heart as we're planning uh, the meals for the next week. A few weeks back, I opened up a bag of frozen strawberries because I was making strawberry shortcake, but I didn't use all of the strawberries out of that frozen bag. So they're thawed here now, this is the remainder. And I was thinking of ways to use them up and I was thinking in a smoothie would be great. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put them all in there, we'll see. This is jammed full and I actually forgot that I bought spinach this week. So I'm, as soon as this blends up a bit, I'll, I'll put a handful of spinach in as well. I know I already started drinking mine. This is delicious. I, I enjoy it quite a bit better, actually, a lot, a lot better. This is my favorite one in a long, long, long time. 
We've got some cabbage and some carrot shredded. I won't lift the lid, but the rice is cooking. We are going to make some fried rice. Supper number one. Veggie wraps with hummus, cucumbers, lettuce, spinach, tomatoes, and peppers. And I topped it with some sesame seeds and whatever those little black ones are called. I'm going to try my hand tonight for the very first time ever uh, with lentils. We are going to have a lentil-based marinara spaghetti sauce, mushrooms, red pepper, onions, tomatoes. I'm going to look through the fridge and see if there's anything else. I have a zucchini in there, so um, that might go end up in here. Anyways, I, I've done a lot of um, watching uh, videos, looking at recipes, and I'm pretty sure I, I know what to do. Um, I don't really think that there is a, a way that I could mess up a lentil marinara sauce. So we're going to try that. All right, we've got everything in the pot. We've got lentils, onions, green peppers, red peppers, mushrooms, garlic, spices. The only other thing I'm going to add in is some diced fresh tomatoes. I am going to turn this oven on. Give this a stir and we're going to simmer this. I did add some water and I might have to add more um, as it starts to heat. We will we'll make that decision um, if we need to. I've been simmering this for quite a while now. I've done a couple taste tests. Um, I just added more spices, more garlic, more basil, more summer savory. Um, I have a spice blend that I added. I'm not sure why I feel this is a bit bland. You know what? I'm going to add some chili flakes. That's a good idea. Chili flakes. Oh, my timer's going off. Here we are with vegan lentil marinara spaghetti. I sprinkled some three onion on the top as a garnish because we are not having Parmesan cheese. Okay, the taste is, tastes like spaghetti. The consistency of the lentils is a little different than what I was expecting. Uh, I used green lentils and there's a lot of information online about different lentils, have different consistencies and different cooking times. Um, but, but I think the green ones are a pretty common lentil, so that's probably very sensible and why I had them to begin with. Uh, thank you, Melinda, very much, my friend, for the lentils. Appreciate that. Um, very curious about this, and if there's leftover sauce, I may even be able to repurpose it into another vegan meal. Lunch today is the pasta with the lentils and an apple. We are making pizza dough and surprise, we're gonna have pizza, vegetarian pizza. We are going to have a delicious vegetarian pizza. We are going to start with homemade pizza sauce that I made myself. We are gonna have olives, spinach, mushrooms, red pepper, green pepper, tomatoes, onions, and I haven't gotten out the jalapenos from the freezer or the green olives from the fridge. If I think of anything else that I think might be tasty on this pizza, I'll add that on too. We have the pizza sauce on the dough. And next, I am going to top with this dairy-free plant-based cheese. And I'll put the toppings on top of that. This is the masterpiece before it goes in the oven. I remembered that I had little fruit cups that were pineapple. So I used a fruit cup, almost all of the pineapple, but I saved the juice 
and the rem remainder of the little teeny bit of pineapple that was left, uh, perhaps for a smoothie for another day. We also have green onions, black onions, red peppers, green peppers, uh, onions, spinach, tomatoes, mushrooms. I think that's it. That's a lot. This looks amazingly delicious. It smells great. I cannot wait. This turned out really good. And like, look how the cheese melted. The dairy-free vegan cheese. It turned out really great. I am using the leftover lentil pasta sauce as a base for a hearty vegetable soup. I am going to add to it potatoes, zucchini, carrots, green beans, onions, and whatever else I can think of. This is the beginning. I added cabbage and I have chickpeas, canned chickpeas. And I think I'm going to add some of those as well, just to amp up the protein, even though there's already lentils. In the summer, we, de we grew our own broccoli and we dehydrated a lot of them and then ground them into this uh, green boosting powder. And I'm actually going to add some of this into the soup, maybe a tablespoon. One tablespoon. Hearty vegetable soup. Lunch today is hearty vegetable soup and an orange for me and leftover pizza and apple for the handsome one. Today is February 21st. It is Tuesday. It is Shrove Tuesday otherwise known as pancake day. So we are gonna have pancakes for supper, I'm excited. So we had to look a vegan recipe up online and it was incredibly, incredibly, incredibly thick. It didn't call for water, but we added water to it anyways, just to thin it. And we also added some gingerbread spice just for a little fun extra flavor. This looks amazing, obviously. This is all the pancakes, not one person serving. And I already had vegan um, basil in the freezer from some random time that I saw it marked down 50% off. So very exciting. And we have our own homemade maple syrup that we made ourselves. Vegan pancakes with maple syrup and bananas. And the handsome one wanted his with strawberries and bananas. That little package of quinoa from the Dollarama called for one and a half cups for a recipe that I wanted to make. The package was one and a half cups. Um, and this is how much that cooked up to. And now seeing how much that cooked up to, I probably could have gone with less. Okay, so here is the beginning of the quinoa salad. We have quinoa, cucumber, tomatoes, chickpeas, olives, onions, um, red pepper. And then under the red pepper, you can't see it, but there's all kinds of spinach. I'm also going to top it with some avocado and I have this which is olive oil, lemon juice, some garlic, and we're going to see how this starts to combine. Looking pretty good. I may have to add more dressing. I'm going to give it a good stir. This looks pretty tasty, topped with the avocado. This is absolutely delicious. This is my favorite plant-based meal we've had so far this week. 
we are making a snack. On the advice of my friend Angela, we are putting a, a favorite mix so this is buffalo spice on our chickpeas and we're going to bake them until crispy and then have them as a snack tonight we are going to have stir fry on noodles i had to buy the special noodles well i'm sure they're not special they're just different from the noodles we had in the house um, that were not fully plant-based. We have mushrooms, onions, peppers, carrots, snap peas, and tofu. And we'll make our own sauce. Looking good so far. This turned out pretty good. Smells good. Um, the handsome one did a taste test and he said it tastes good. We're going to give it a try. Soup and an orange uh, for lunch again today. We actually have tons of options for lunches. There's so many leftovers. There's soup leftovers, there's quinoa salad leftovers, there is lo mein leftovers, there's leftovers for the protein wraps, so, and there's still fruit left over. So we're just kind of, what, whatever we think of, and we're probably going to have for supper tonight a medley of a bunch of leftovers. For supper, we are going to have wraps with salad on the side. Lots of leftovers, lots of options for us to make. Veggie wraps and quinoa salad for supper. Eating up leftovers. So now that the week is done, my feedback. We felt full. I didn't feel hungry. Um, I wasn't having any cravings. Um, I didn't miss anything in particular. So I, I know it was only a week, but it was very manageable for us. The problem that we had wasn't with the food that we could eat that we could or would were eating, um, the problem that I had was that it was really difficult to know how much of the items or the food that we were using for protein was enough. How much tofu should we be including in a stir fry? How, how many lentils do I need to cook in a pasta sauce or in a soup? Um, how many chickpeas should I be putting in a salad? what combinations build off of each other, um, avocado and, and chickpeas together, for not knowing that or, it, or having a base knowledge of what goes together, it was a lot of work. So I think that was the most complicated thing, not finding the groceries, not thinking of the meals to make, Oops. just figuring out if the meals that we were eating were nutritionally balanced. And some of them were, and I know some of them were not. <laughs> um, I think we did okay for a first attempt. And I, I feel happy that we did this. We learned some things. Um, I learned I'm not a huge fan of lentils. I don't hate them, but I certainly wouldn't be excited to make something that included them. I would include them specifically for the reason that they are a source of protein. Um, and I love quinoa and we don't eat it a lot. And I really liked the salad and it just motivates me um, to think like this is something that we could easily incorporate into our regular diet. Um, so, so those are the things that we discovered. Uh, and I had forgotten how enjoyable I find almond milk. Um, I used to buy it almost exclusively when the kids were home. Um, they wouldn't touch that almond milk. So there was always milk in the fridge for cooking, um, for coffee. And I got away from that um, and transitioned towards a lactose-free milk. And interestingly enough, um, it's almost double the price of almond milk or oat milk. Um, so that's something for me to be aware of moving forward as well. You learn things. 
anyways, I feel that we had a successful week. I'm really curious of, of your comments on if you thought that the meals were balanced and what I could do better if we decide to do this again. Thanks, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic week.